Today you're going to learn how to create animation where you reveal different objects sequentially. So let me clean everything. Let's go to geometry nodes, close this, and close this panel. Let's create a new profile and let's create a curve line. So delete this, shift A, curve line. Because we want to put objects in this line. So let me fix this, this zero, and I want, for example, in this axis in Y, like that. OK, we have a line. Let's put some objects here. So let's put instance on points. And let's add some simple cubes. OK, let's make this smaller, something like that. And to add more cubes, more instance, we need to resample this curve. So this will be the number of objects. If you want less, decrease. If you want more, Increase. I'm going to leave 10. Perfect. And I'm going to make this taller. Something like 1. OK. Imagine you have different objects and you want to make an animation revealing these objects in order from left to top. So what we have to do is to animate the scale. Something like that. But in order. So we are going to use index node. Now you see this and you're thinking, what's going on here? Why it looks like that? This is because this node gives a number to every object. The first number always is zero. So let me disconnect this. This is zero, zero, one, two, three, etc. And basically, when we connect this to here, the first one is giving zero to all axes. Look, that's why this appears. To the second one, the number one is giving one to all the axes. So that's why it have the same size. And the others is the same. So this one is giving two to the three axes. That's why it's bigger and the rest become bigger and bigger. OK, that's cool. Now we understand how this works, but we need to put some control here. So what we can do is to put a math node in add. So if we click here, we can change the size because now it's like giving different index. That's why it looks like that. However, if we don't want that this increase so much, we can click here. As the text says, it just makes the minimum zero and the maximum one if we click here. So it doesn't matter if now we increase this because all the objects will have one maximum and zero minimum. If you leave it like that, now if we click here, look, by order of index, we can create this animation. However, we don't want this order. I want to start with the first one. So how we can do that? It's really easy. There is a simple node where we can reverse this curve. So just put reverse curve. So now the first one is this one. That means that if we click here, look, the first one to disappear is this one. So if we leave it like that, now we can create animation from left to right. If I insert a keyframe, I can make this animation. For example, something like that. And if I press play, I have this animation. So now you know how to rebuild different objects in a sequence. If you want to make it linear, the movement, just select the keyframes and press T and select linear. So they will scale at the same velocity. And remember here, you can just separate them. And if you increase the number of objects, you need to replace the keyframe. If you enjoyed this video, give a like, subscribe, and you can donate this project and many more in my Patreon. So, see you next video.